Hey guys, Josh Cohen, strength and conditioning coach here at Competitive Edge Skating and Strength Training. In this week's video, we're going to talk about a mental characteristic that elite performers have, whether that be in athletics, in business, or just even relationships and personal lives, and that is that the scoreboard is not the only scoreboard. We'll describe what that means in a second, but an example of this is currently with Coach PJ Fleck, who is the Western Michigan football coach. So it's all about the process of becoming. So what that means is he lets his team celebrate in the locker room like they just won the Super Bowl every game that they win, but only in the locker room. So as soon as they're getting ready to leave after that game, they're handed their iPads with the next week opponent's game film already. So they're transitioning their minds out of the first game that they just won about a half an hour ago and onto that next team and becoming a better team each and every week. He always says it's not a 14 week season, it's a one week season. So they're fixated on that one week and then as soon as it's over, it's the next week. And that's all that process of becoming. So in his book, Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday, he really drives this point. I recommend this book to everyone. It is an amazing book. So in this he says, Coach John Wooden was very clear about this. The scoreboard was not the judge of whether he or the team had achieved success. That wasn't what constituted winning. Bo Jackson wouldn't get impressed when he hit a home run or ran for a touchdown because he knew he hadn't done it perfect. In fact, he didn't ask for the ball after his first major league hit because to him it was just another ground ball up the middle. This is the characteristic of how great people think. It's not that they find failure in every success, they just hold themselves to a standard that exceeds what society might consider to be objective success. They care whether they meet their own standards and these standards are much higher than everyone else's. So for those of you that train here, you guys know that our standards are a lot higher than everyone else's because we don't want to accept mediocrity for ourselves or for you guys. We want you guys to become the best version of yourself, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally, and then also to share that with others. So that's why we hold everyone to such a high standard and we want the best for not only ourselves, but for you guys as well. He goes on to say, the scoreboard can't be the only scoreboard. Making a distinction between the inner scorecard and the external one, your potential, the absolute best you're capable of, that's the me metric to measure your success by. Winning is not enough. People can get lucky and win, people can be jerks and win, anyone can win. But not everyone is the best possible version of themselves. So what he's saying in there is that the winning and losing doesn't matter, it's the process of becoming are you holding yourself to a higher standard? How often do you see teams win a championship and then the next year not even come close to making the playoffs? That's because they get comfortable. Coach Greg Everett, who runs Catalyst Athletics, who's one of the best Olympic weightlifting coaches in the world, when his female team, Olympic weightlifting team, is continually winning worlds each year, he says it gets even more difficult because that standard keeps getting higher and higher. So that's why they're having continual success because they're not settling. Their standards are higher than the world championships. It's the same thing with NHLers or any professional in business or anything. They don't, if they make a million dollars, that's not their standard. They're higher than that. They want to do more. They want to contribute more. So that's the metric to measure yourself by. It's not wins and losses. But while those are great, if you're becoming the best version of yourself and meeting your own standards, that's what you need to measure by. So hopefully if you guys are at a project at work or at school or if you're on a team and you guys are having success and winning, you guys are not getting comfortable and you're raising your standards each and every day and changing your best every day so you can continually become that best version of yourself. Make sure you guys go to our website at ceskating.com. Sign up for our Sunday email. This is where you'll get words of wisdom for your week as well as our training and class schedule for the entire week. Also make sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.